This is the second uh, lamina flow type Stirling engine that I've built, which uh, doesn't have a flywheel. There's some small modifications to this. The uh, the hot end is tunable, so I can move this piston in and out to change the uh, the available space in the hot end. The uh, regenerator is draggable with a magnet so I can change it, it, its position within the tube. The silicon rubber that stopped the piston banging into the orifice has now been replaced by a steel spring. The piston is now made of aluminium instead of glass and that's now connected to some magnets which run within a coil at the end. So hopefully we'll be lighting up these LEDs. Try that again. There's a small amount of pulsation in the, uh, the brightness of the LEDs and this is due to the, uh, the rotation, uh, slight rotation of the, uh, of the piston in the bore and that means that because the magnets aren't exactly concentric within the, uh, the coil the voltage does vary slightly. Obviously this is just a prototype engine so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the next stage is to try and make this engine out of uh, basically one or two pieces of metal and uh, get some large cooling fins on the cold end to try and sink a lot more of the heat. Uh, there'll be a bridge rectifier going on the coil to get DC out and uh, hopefully I'll be measuring then volts and uh, amps to try and establish exactly what the frequency is of this engine. So there we go. Uh, I'd appreciate any comments, uh, any suggestions, and uh, thanks for watching.